Hey everyone, Lars here in the Tesla Engineering Crash Safety Lab. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what makes our cars so safe. Passive safety is what happens after you get in an accident. We think about that from the beginning of a design. And what we're trying to do is absorb as much energy from whatever object you hit before it gets to the cabin. At Tesla, we always like to think we have two rules. Number one, protect the occupant. Number two, protect the battery. See rule number one, protect the occupant. The way we do that is in a progressive nature of crash structure. This is what it looks, a car looks like underneath the skin. You have your bumper beam, your crush can, and then you have what we just debuted in Austin is our new front underbody casting. And what happens when you get into an accident is first the bumper beam crushes up, it progressively crushes up the crush can, absorbing the low speed energy under 20 miles per hour, and then we get into our casting. The design is such that the ribs at the beginning of the casting are thinner than the ones at the back, and we progressively increase them so that we have controlled crushing of the entire system as it goes up before it gets to the cabin here. But what else you'll notice is there's multiple load paths. This is a higher load path for compatibility with other vehicles on the road. Sometimes we need a lower load path if you hit a different sized object. There's space vertically to transfer the load not only through the crush rail, but also through our subframe, which pulls the drive unit down and out of the way from the cabin behind you and out of the way of the battery. But we don't just do that in a vertical sense. We also do it laterally. Your main crush rail is great if you hit something up front, but if you hit a pole or a tree just outside that crush rail, there's nothing there to absorb an energy in most cars. We put our lower load path just outside that crush rail and we actually angle it so that if you hit something here, we start to absorb the energy and then we push the car away from whatever object you hit to make sure that you're not getting crushed into that object. The backup structure is what protects the cabin after that. And we use both our door rings, the glass and our battery to provide structure to hold all of this energy it's crushing up. But one of the things that's unique about all of Tesla's is the battery is super low. A lower center of gravity in addition to our suspension means our vehicles are less likely to roll over. So let's take a look at what a car looks like after a crash test and how these systems all work. So this here is actually a really special car. This is a car that was crash tested at NHTSA for our five star rating on Model Y. And as you can see, all that energy was absorbed up front here stopping really at the cabin like I was talking about. And we do such a good job of that, that you can actually open the door and get out. And as you can see, aside from a little bit of white paint and some airbags blown off, the cabin looks like it was untouched. And that means the occupant inside has all of the room that they had before the accident to survive the accident.